Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 54 of the FIFA 17 My Player Career. And we are with Barcelona, remember, we're trying to get this season off to a good start. We've already won the Spanish Super Cup against Real Madrid with a nice 4-0 victory in the second leg that was. So, uh, Kai's already got his first goals for Barca. Will he get a goal today? We are away from home, taking on Valencia. This is in the league, of course. We want to try and get ourselves off to a good start in the league because, no doubt, Real Madrid will be chasing us all the way to the very end. And there'll be a few other clubs there as well, Atletico Madrid, etc. Uh, but we are the main boys. We want to be the top of the table come the end of the season. And uh, we did win the league with Liverpool, as you remember, at the end of last season. And we want to do the same with our new side today. And uh, we're five minutes in, we're on an early attack. Can we take an early lead though? And that's going to go out for a corner here for Barcelona. Six and a half minutes gone. There is Neymar. Always looking dangerous, always going to be a danger. Um, cross comes in from Denis Suarez on the head of Kai. And what a header that was. That gives us a one goal lead, seven and a half minutes gone. It is Valencia nil, Barcelona one. Kai runs over to the cameraman. He does a celebration and there we go. Is that his first league goal? I think it is his first La Liga goal for his new side. And hopefully the first of many to come. It is first goal of La Liga Santander. And come on, boys. Let's get this victory. It will be our first win as well of the season in the league, that is. And we did draw the opening day of the season, unfortunately. Well, let's see. What we can do here is Denis Suarez. Denis Suarez, pretty decent player, actually. Um, so far. Anyway, that's a great cross from Neymar. Good control from Kai. Kai shoots unlucky there not to get it on target. He was well taken down from Kai. He got the shot off, but it was just the wrong side of the post. So, still in the first half. We have another corner. We scored from the last one. Can we score from this one? The header from, I think it was PK there. Goes straight into the hands of the Valencia goalkeeper. And now Gaia gets the ball clear. Into the second half with jump. Here's Sampa now for Barcelona. Nice ball forward for Andre Gomez. Sampa getting it back though for Barca. And yeah, bus gets to Kai. Kai trying to find somebody in space. He does in the end. Finds Vidal. Kai again. Going to carry on his run. But here's Andre Gomez who shoots and he's gone in off the post. And Barcelona double their lead. Just over an hour gone. It's now Valencia nil. Barcelona 2. And it is Andre Gomez with his first league goal of the season. And hopefully that will be enough now to give us the three points and victory. Our first victory in the league this season. The fans there, they're happy with this one. Nice little ball through. Look at a wide gap there. And he gets the shot off with his right boot as well. But it went in off the post. And there we go. Two goals to nil. We lead. First league goal of the season for Andre Gomez. And we've still got plenty of time to try and grab a third here. 20 minutes in fact. Here's Pastore. Twisting and turning. Trying to find somebody in space. Kai drops deep. To get the ball, look at his wide open gap on his near side for Vidal. Vidal straight across the middle, but everybody missed it. Is he going to keep it in? Neymar does keep it in. Still on the attack here is Jordi Alba. Gap in the middle for Kai. Kai shoots top corner. Beautiful finesse finish there from Kai. Number 52, scoring his second goal of the game. And can he get a hat-trick in this game? There's not long to play, but that's a beautiful finish. Great play there from Barca, unlucky with the original cross, everybody missed it, even the sliding strikers, um, or midfielders even, yeah, but we are into the final minute now, it doesn't look like Kai's going to get his hat-trick, unless he can steal it late on here, he's dropping a little bit deep on the edge of the area, he needs to get in, the cross comes in towards Kai, can he get there, he can't, the goalkeeper Diego Alves was there, to the quickest, and he picks it up, gets the ball clear, the final whistle blows, so unfortunately Kai won't get his hat-trick, but he did grab two goals in this game, giving us a fantastic three-goal win and three points in the bag as well. And let's have a quick look then at Kai's final match rating. Come on, give us his final match rating. He does end with a nine rating there. 34 touches in total, 88% passing. And a pretty decent game there then for Kai. And beautiful finesse finishes. And now we have a little bit of break from the club action. And we've got the European Championship qualifiers with England. And we're first traveling to Russia to take on them in this first game there is a second game of course it always seems to be two games in the international break so let's see if we can grab ourselves a victory in this first game it's always nice to play with your English teammates here's Smalling, Smalling one of the best defenders in this game I believe Sterling 
to Kai. Kai plays it inside for Eric Dyer. Come on, boys. Let's try and go on it. An early quick attack. Here's Sterling. What was that? That was a horrible ball by Raheem Sterling. Not really finding anybody there. And we're approaching half time. As you can see, it's still Russian nil, England nil. England probably feeling the effects of being so cold, especially Kai. He's got his gloves still on, look. Uh, but we'll be changing them in the next episode. Don't you worry. I might even change them in this episode, um, if I remember, after these games. Uh, but there's a nice shot, but it's a good save in the end. Not really troubling, to be fair, because it was right beside him. It was worth the shot, though, from Kai. And we are into the second half now. Still goalless in this match. We will take a point. A point away from home in the European Championship qualifiers is not always the worst result. Obviously, we would prefer the win if we can go forward here. Kai playing it forward. Nice little run there for Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling cuts inside, pulls it back. The shot's on. Great save there from the keeper. Was that Eric Dyer? No, it's Deli Ali with that shot. Uh, but what a save. Look at all the power on that. Boom. Uh, but it, Wow, it was a one-handed save as well. That should be England 1-0 up, but the goalkeeper making that vital save for Russia and uh, keeping it at level terms and cleared away there, but only as far as the throw in. The throw didn't come to anything. So we're approaching the final 10 minutes of this match. And Jones there with the first interception. Slap. Oh, my God, why is he doing that? Phil Jones, you're letting me down. He's going to get booked for that. He's giving away a penalty. 10 minutes to play, it's 0-0, Russia here have a chance to go in front and possibly win this game. Out of nowhere, the, the AI, I just can't, I don't know. Come on, keeps, don't let me down. Phil Jones already let us down, and the keeper straight down the middle. Simple goal in the end there for Russia, they do take the one goal lead. 10 minutes remaining in this match, is this going to be a shock win for the Russians? And England should have done better, but can't blame us. I've got to blame Phil James for this one. And Butland unable to keep it out. And we've got less than 10 minutes to try and find an equalising goal. Can we do it? Can we do it, boys? Here's James Ward-Prowse playing the ball forward. Fox A. Chamberlain who finds Kai. Ward-Prowse carried on his run. Kai finds him. And a good attack here. And shot comes in by the Ox. And it's just the wrong side of the post. Unlucky that was worth the crack. And usually... Uh, Oxley chamberlain will make that shot go on target. Look how close was it? Just wide. And look, I think the goalkeeper had that one covered anyway. Um, that was probably going to be a chance for England. I think it was because we're into the final minute now of this qualifying game. And Russia still have that one goal lead. And uh, not long to play. Russia in possession, pushing forward. The referee surely is going to blow his whistle any second. There it is. The final whistle blows. England lose. One goal to nil against Russia in the European Championship qualifiers. And so the next game up is going to be another qualifying game, this time against Finland. It is at Wembley Stadium, but unfortunately Kai not being chosen for this one, which is a bit of a surprise. But hopefully the AI don't let us down. Phil Jones is in there, I see. Yeah, Corn England, we need the victory after that draw. Simulate, and there we go. Nice 3-0 win for England. Wilshire Kane and Sterling, I believe it was, who got that third goal for England, giving us the three points in the group stage. And now we're going to head back into some club domestic action with Barcelona. And there you can see the star man, the player to watch. He's got four goals in his last three games, is Kai. Can he grab another goal today? It is a league game against Real Sociedad. We are at the new camp, or the Camp Nou. I know it's not officially the Camp Nou on FIFA 17, but that's what we're still going to call it. It is Barcelona's home after all. And here's Alderweire then. Sergio, come on boys, let's go on a counter-track. Let's get an early goal, settle our nerves, and try and thump Sociedad if we can. We haven't got that early goal as of yet, but we're still 25 minutes in. That's pretty early, I'd say. And Denis Suarez. Now Jordi Alba, nice little ball inside there for Kai. Back on the outside for Alba. Good passing play this. <coughs> Excuse me, bit of frog in my throat there. And as the goalkeeper makes a save, goes out for a corner. Come on, let's take advantage of this corner, try and grab ourselves this first half goal. Now, that one should have been in the back of the net, to be fair, but it was a good save. And we've got ourselves a corner there. Let's try and take advantage. Kai has already scored from a corner already this season. That one gets cleared away with the, the header of the defender, goes out of play for a throw in. So it's dangerous still on. We've still got a chance to grab ourselves a. A goal, but we didn't, unfortunately. So onwards we go. Just before half-time, we're in possession, trying to force a way through midfield. 
And Kai should leave that. He does leave it for Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba crosses inside. And again, the goalkeeper, uh, sorry, the goalkeeper, the defender was there uh, to clear it behind for a corner. So a corner comes in towards Kai. Kai with his head. Oh, and look there from Kai. But there was Gerard PK to head it in from close range. A nice rebounded finish there. But Kai again looking to score with another header from a corner. Yeah, the, the keeper was beat. Totally beat there, the keeper was. Um, but it hit the crossbar, bounced to Gerard Piquet, and there he is to score his first Little League goal of the season. As we approach the final minute of the game, it looks like we are going to be winning this one, one goal to nil. And it has been a tough one as Barcelona just wastes some time here at the end, just taking uh, a few seconds um, to make a change. Here is Kite, can we grab a second? Kite playing it out wide, just wasting time. Here is Vidal now wasting time, twisting and turning, cross comes in. And the goalkeeper holds on to that one. And there is the final whistle. And a nice victory there. So our good form continues in the league, even though we lost uh, with England. And we're still unbeaten in the Spanish league. And we do want to go the whole season unbeaten if we can. Remember, that's what we tried to do with Liverpool, as I mentioned in the last episode. Um, so we're going to try and see if we can do that this year with Barca. And we're just having a quick look here who we've got in the group stage of the Champions League. We've got Basel. Um, Monaco there as you see and who was the other team? Wolfsburg Wolfsburg with it, it was the third team in Champions League so not a bad group stage there actually uh, to be honest we should go through uh, as the, the group stage winners and uh, well, obviously we've got to win this first game it is against Wolfsburg so it's going to be a tough one Wolfsburg got a few decent players in their ranks as the rain falls on the camera lens there and uh, we are the home side for this one so we've got the home advances let's see how we get on Barcelona versus Wolfsburg, and there is Draxler. And as I say, this actually Draxler has just confirmed his move to PSG in January, and Kai's gone down there. Uh, so that is a good move for Draxler and for PSG. Uh, he was expecting to actually to join Arsenal or go to the Premier League, but uh, from out of nowhere, he has joined PSG, and he's going to be playing in France next season, which I'm sure he will have a good year. Uh, for PSG not been this, the team uh, that they have been with Ibra. So it is nice for them to get a decent player back on their, their, back in their club. They already have got some good players, but Draxler is a good one. And Kai's been injured. I don't know if you noticed there. He did walk off the field, so he is injured. But how long is he out for? He's out for three weeks with a sprained ankle, which is not the start of the, the career that we wanted at Barcelona, unfortunately. Yeah, but it is going to give us a little bit of a break. And so we're going to sim through all of the games that he misses. And then at the start of the next episode, he will be back to full fitness where hopefully he'll be starting uh, the next game. And uh, we're going to be missing a bunch of games now though, so let's see how we get on without Kai. A uh, 2-2 draw, not bad, not bad. It is away from home. We're, as, you, as I said um, not long ago, we don't want to be losing any games in the league. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, the AI don't let me down here. Um, we're going to be simulating, this is the second game simulated. Uh, two Suarez is made, oh, three Suarez is in the starting line up there. The goalkeeper just noticed there as well, alongside Luis Suarez and Denis Suarez. So it is a team of Suarez. And have we got three in there? No. One, uh, Luis Suarez makes the bench in this game. But can we get the victory? But Deportivo versus Barcelona simulate, and we do get a nice 3 1 win there, giving us a nice victory. So jumping into the next one. Who's this one against? Oh, it's the group stage Champions League away game to Bar at Basel. Basel versus Barcelona. To Stegen making a start today. Suarez has been taken out, but Luis Suarez does start. Will he grab a goal? No, he doesn't. Kimmich gets the only goal of the game in the 73rd minute, giving us the 1-0 win. So that is our uh, first win in the group stage, I believe. Now, I don't think we beat Wolfsburg, actually. Maybe I'll have to check that. Uh, but let's get into this next game. Uh, surely Kai should be back pretty soon as well. We've missed quite a few games here. Uh, but Barcelona taking on Malaga. We do get a nice tuna win. And Kimmich, he's an absolute star right now. Grabbing two goals again. Uh, three goals and two goals. Let's have a look at... Where did we win that Wolfsburg game? No, it was a nil-nil draw. So a bit of a disappointing result there. But we did win against Basel. Uh, we did draw against them. Balacano, we won against 2-0. These are all the games that we missed through injury. Uh, that's September. So into October. Basel, we won one goal to nil. And uh, Malaga, we just won 2-0. 
then we're going to be missing the international friendlies unfortunately due to injuries so we will be starting off against Getafe in the next episode leave a like if you like this episode guys and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, thanks for watching and there you can see the league table we are still unbeaten after seven games and hopefully that goes all the way to the end of the year